everyone, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that are just joining me, I'm Jay Vaness. Here we do and talk plenty things. So if that interests you, consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss out when I post new videos. And today's gardening topic is terrarium gardening with LECA. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you too can recreate this terrarium look with LECA. So I have partnered up with Ferris Lynn on this video as they have sent me a glass terrarium that we will be working with in today's video and I am about to do an unboxing for you. But before we get to the unboxing, I just wanted to mention that these terrariums come in many great styles and Ferris Lynn also offers other gardening accessories as well, so check them out. I'll leave a link and all of the information in the description box below along with a direct link to where you can get this specific terrarium as well as a special code to receive 10% off. Oh, and if you're anything like me and you are an Amazon Prime, Ferris Lynn can also be found on Amazon so you can get two-day shipping. Now let's open this. Oh, how pretty! Take a look at this. I love the geometrical shapes and this will be very fun to pot up. All right, so now the materials we're going to use for the terrarium. Since I am doing a succulent terrarium, I am using cactus mix, activated charcoal, leca balls, decorative pebbles, which are optional, your plant of choice, and these succulent cuttings. And of course, the glass terrarium. And since I'm also working with cuttings for this glass terrarium, I recommend using a rooting hormone anytime you're working with cuttings. So now that you've gathered all your materials, let's assemble this terrarium. First off, I'm gonna add a small layer of activated charcoal as my base. This helps to remove and eliminate odors that can occur if watering happens to pool at the bottom. All right, next I'm going to be adding a layer of LECA. So the reason why I chose LECA versus your common gravel or pebbles that most people use in terrariums is LECA is made out of clay and it is very porous. Great thing about the LECA layer at the bottom is that if water does tend to pool at the base, the LECA balls will actually help in absorbing that excess water. I'm filling up the glass terrarium with at least an inch of LECA. Next, I'm going to add a generous layer of soil. Once the soil is laid down, time to add the plants. So here I have a Haworthia. I'm not going to use all of them. I'm just going to use one, so I'm going to divide them and remove the soil. Same thing with this Haworthia. Now I'm going to add another small layer of soil to cover the roots. Now for the cuttings. With these cuttings, I like to remove a little bit of the bottom leaves, and I'm also gonna trim up the stem to make it a little bit shorter. I like to use this rooting hormone anytime I'm working with cuttings, just dip the cutting into a little bit of water and then into the rooting hormone powder. And then just pop them in the soil. And now that all the plants are in place, now for the finishing touch, which is the top dressing, I am going to be using these little white pebbles which I picked up from Michaels. And since this terrarium opening is quite narrow, I'm going to be using this spoon to get the pebbles in the more harder to reach areas. And there you have it. As far as watering terrariums, just be mindful as your watering style and technique is going to be slightly different versus when you are watering potted plants. Overall, I am very pleased with how this turned out and this glass terrarium is waterproof. I did test that before I started. 
Once again, all of the information will be in the description box below, so check that out. Well guys, I guess that's it for this video, and a special thanks for Ferris Lynn for sending me this glass terrarium. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. When I am not shooting videos, I am taking pictures, as there is always something new growing, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! This is awesome! It came out so good!